Hold up, it's the weigh-in. Call up and you're weighing. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge. We ain't playing when you think it's about to end. Should we crank it up again? Hold up, weigh-in. Call up and you're weighing. Now we get to scrutinize everything you're saying. Switching up the topics, dropping knowledge. We ain't playing and we do this every day. Never ever duck a fade. Hold up, hold up. Greg and friends just keep it popping. Keep it popping. Dropping knowledge, switching up the daily topics. Switch it up. The latest interviews, okay, okay, we got it. Okay, we got it. Your favorite podcast, my boy, yeah, we the hottest. Oh, love. You got a way in. Articulate, explain it. Explain it. Let it all out for debate and drop some game. No, we ain't playing. Two smart fans, let me know where you're at. It's all about a fight. You got that strap. All your biases can slay. Let's you boys duck in the fade. Hold up. It's the way in. Call up and you weigh in. Now you get to talk about oh. everything you're saying. Whoa. Analyze the topic, drop the knowledge. We ain't playing. If you think it's by the end, should we crank it up again? Hold up. Love. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Boxing World YouTube, what's going on? We are definitely back with another one, man. Another live, another stream. We back, man. What's going on with everybody out there? Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It does help with the growth and the visibility of the channel. Definitely share it. The content as well too. Let us know what you think uh, about the topics that we talk about and uh, exactly how we, you know, go about arriving at our truth. You know, sometimes it aligns with the truth. So, you know, you just got to listen and watch to find out exactly, you know, what role we take uh, to try to get to the bottom of, you know, whatever issues that we're facing in boxing, good or bad. You know what I mean? So uh, just so y'all know, Today, we're talking about Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk officially off. Um, this fight was supposed to take place April 29th at Wembley. But the two sides, they can't come to an agreement. They can't come to an agreement on a few different things. And uh, we want to talk more about that. And uh, obviously, like, who's to get the blame? Who, who we casting the blame to? It, we we need to know who we gonna pass the blame on to because somebody gotta keep they gotta take the blame. You know what I mean for this fight not happening. Can both sides to be blamed? Well, we gonna talk about and find out about that as well too. Uh, thank you to my loading savior for another one, man. Because without him, none of this would be possible. Thank you to everybody that be tapping in and tuning into the way in boxing. Hope you enjoy the content. Definitely let us know, you know, some topics that you like us to talk about as well, too. We are very open to that as well. Uh, it's amazing to be here with y'all uh, on this Wednesday morning. Talking some boxing. So there's been a lot of back and forth between Tyson Fury's team and Alexander Usyk's team about different clauses in the contracts. But it would seem when Tyson Fury, they first had to deal with Saudi Arabia. I think it was paying like 130 million. <laughs> Something, you know? They was about to get a big chunk of it. Like, they bought like 65 mil a piece to fight out in the Middle East. Fortunately, Tyson Fury's side didn't like the deal that was being offered. Usyk's side accepted the deal. Fury's side didn't feel that it was right, whether it was Tyson Fury, whether it was Frank Warren, whether it was anybody over at Queensbury Promotions. Just didn't see it. Just didn't see it, my people. So I want to know from y'all, man, what do you think about The first deal falling through, which is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. $65 million is a lot of money versus, you know, the deal that was being offered for um, April 29th, which is the next date that was being tossed around for a while. 
But Tyson Fury and his team, after the first deal fell through, was kind of quiet on the Usyk fight while Usyk and his team um, was, you know, steady on the uh, on the negotiation of trying to make the heavy the heavyweight undisputed bout. Man, this is the undisputed era, and and a lot of divisions are being undisputed. And uh, the heavyweight division being the glamorous division of boxing, you know, it's one of those divisions you want to be undisputed. You know, one face, one name, you know who it is. In the UFC, you know who it is. John Bones Jones. You know, right now we got two champions um, in the heavyweight division in Tyson Fury, the WBC heavyweight champion, and Alexander Usyk, the unified heavyweight champion in the world with the IBF, the WBO. The WBA and probably the Ring Magazine, if I'm not mistaken, heavyweight championship of the world. So that's what we got, you know. What I mean, to talk about with y'all, who is to blame, ladies and gentlemen? Who is to blame? Tell me who's to blame. Somebody out there got to take the blame for this contract falling apart. Tyson Fury. as a part of one of the clauses in the contract that is causing, you know, some issues is the split. That's what kind of caused the issue in the first deal from Saudi Arabia falling through is the split. All right, cool. Fast forward when you think about it right now. Um, Tyson Fury asked for 70-30 to take on Usyk on April 29th, the date that is now officially, you know, dead. That date is 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 is, is fried. But the 70-30, Usyk said, yeah, of course you can get the 70-30. I'll give you the 70-30. Let's make it happen. Now we talk about rematch clause. Tyson Fury apparently wanted to be one and done. Usyk's like, nah, you got to, you know, rematch. You get a rematch. I get a rematch. Everybody get a rematch. Rematch. So. They agreed, okay, they got to have the rematch. The other issue is the rematch clause split. The split. What is going to be the split for the rematch? That's in fear. And he said, not happy with the split. <laughs> Usually the split is if you win the fight, then you get the bigger percentage on the second fight. That's usually what the split is. If I'm wrong, let me know if you know. That's what usually the split is. I am I mistaken? But I, I I I think I am. I think I am for real. Um, it would seem like all the blame is pointed in the direction of Tyson Fury and his team for, I guess you want to say, having one too many things that they want control of. And as a unified champion, Usyk and his team, they give up some. They probably give up more than most would, and um, it's still, I guess, not enough. Still not enough. It's it's something else. 
that has to uh to to get sorted out something else that needs to be um agreed upon and that split obviously is you know not something that uh obviously something that uh Tyson Fury is not willing to do so let's get dive more into it um, because there's on Talk Sport, so Usyk's team was on Talk Sport and, and giving their um, their opinion um, about some situations. Okay, here we go. Um, talks reportedly collapsed because they couldn't agree on another material terms critical. To deal beyond the perspit. It's claimed Usyk has shut down his training camp. Usyk is not about sitting in the trenches with him. It's not going down. He's not for the games. Usyk's promoter, Alex Krauski, on Tyson Fury fight being off. It went too far. After Usyk accepted the 70-30, Fury started to think he can put a saddle on his neck and start riding Usyk. He tries to avoid it by putting so many obstacles in front of the deal. (laughs) He goes on to say, if I start telling you the things he wanted, 15 minutes is not enough. There was a list of things he wanted which were absolutely unacceptable, completely, complete disrespect to unified and former undisputed champion. <laughs> they said, nah, negative. Y'all not about to do this. Y'all not, but that's the unified champion. That's the unified heavyweight champion of the world. You're not about to do him like that. You're not about to do the unified heavyweight champion in the world like that. You got, you got, you got to have some respect. Yeah, you the gypsy king, but you got to have some respect. Put some respect on that man's name. If you, you already know what it is, man. It's Caleb Plant versus Benavides fight week. We got to talk about that. Are you kidding me? Today is what? Today's open workout. Open workouts going down today at four o'clock. We get to see them, you know what I'm saying, at the open workout. So, um, you're back to back to disrespecting the unified heavyweight champion of the world, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, something that Tyson has never, he's only unified in the heavyweight division. But he's never undisputed a thing. The pumped up middleweight. The rabbit. The rabbit. Whiskey business. The rabbit. That's what they're doing right now, man. They they trying to figure it out. And Usyk and his team obviously are like, listen, you're 70-30. You want to keep going. Like, it don't make no sense. You know what I mean? Uh, Simon Jordan on Tyson Fury versus Usyk. Uh, There's an agreement going on about the rematch clause split. I think there's a distinct possibility fight still happens, even if it gets reconfigured for me. It'd be very surprised if they don't find some solution. Well, you might be surprised. You You just might be surprised. You just might be surprised. I think we might get uh, uh, Wilder versus Usyk. I'm calling it here first. I'm calling it here first. Today's what? Wednesday, the 22nd, March, 2023. You might get, for summertime, Wilder versus Usyk. 
in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. 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 A big shout out to the fax machine, man. AKA Big Jones, AKA Tay Jones. If they don't know. Bomb Squad! Bomb Squad! Bomb Squad! And that's on God and them, and y'all know, I don't know who NM is, but it's on God and them. Screw it. You already know how that go, man. Just so y'all know, in case you don't know, now you do know. All day, every day. And you can clip it. <laughs> I think Uzik's like, listen, man, let me go fight somebody who want to fight. I'm going to make some money. And uh, everything going to be all right. One hundred percent. So um, the talks is continue because Frank Warren also came out and said, you know, um, it's not dead yet. You know, there's still a little bit of life left. A little conversation can be happened, but for, for some reason, man, I just did Tyson Fury just ducking Usyk, man. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. The Gypsy King is ducking the pumped up middleweight. The gap tooth ugly bastard. <laughs> Yo, Tyson Fury is unreal. <laughs> gap tooth ugly bastard. <laughs> Yo, Tyson is on one. Tyson is there. Yeah. Tyson, definitely. Anyways, um, let me see. Let me see here. What did I say? Uh, Frank Warren has now insisted that Tyson Fury's Usyk is not off as far as he's confirmed. He said he convinced Fury to U-turn and accept a rematch clause, but a dispute then emerged over the rematch split. Like, dude, okay. They gave you the 70-30. You got to give the rematch clause. Now you want to get the bigger hand on the split, even if you lose? Wow. Frank Warren has declared that Tyson Fury is willing to accept a rematch clause deal for the Alexander Usyk fight, which means... which matches the one Usyk got with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, I think your previous reveal... The rematch was 50-50 per split as Usyk won the first fight. Fact, smash that like button. Tyson Fury versus Usyk is not dead yet as Fury co-promoter Frank Warren have agreed to get back on the phone and attempt to salvage an undisputed heavyweight world foot fight on the 29th. It ain't happening, man. It ain't happening. You know why they want the rematch clause? Because it's two paydays. Where are they going to earn that type of money? They earned fighting Tyson twice. Not versus Philip Hogovich, Joe George, or Daniel Dubois. Everybody wants a rematch clause. Frank, don't let that. Frank, come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. You better than that, Frank. Frank, you better than that. You better than that, Frank. Frank, you better than that. Come on. (laughs) 
So that's what we got um, right now. Just trying to sort out how we can get, if we going to get this uh, heavyweight bout on display for the world to see. It's it's not looking good that they can't make this fight happen. Fury them can't make this fight happen. It's really not looking good at all. Not even a little bit. But we're gonna get back to that, man. Today is the open workout for Caleb Plant and David Benavidez. Are you guys excited to see? How both these gentlemen have prepared themselves to get a chance to be in the same area as one another. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. A good old grudge match. Well, these guys are going to put it on the line. Predictions are coming left and right. Everybody's predicting left and right. Hit that like button. Drop a super chat. Support the channel. Smash that like and subscribe button. Let's go. David Benavidez rocking, trying to rock a six pack with chest like he put in at work. Caleb looked like he put in at work. Both these fighters going to be putting on a show, man. Caleb definitely set a trap for Durrell, took some of his shots. But he set a trap for him, man. You can see it. He set it up. He set it up for him. He set it up. Mm-hmm. So that's what we got going on right here, man. Today they're going to uh, maybe work out. I hope they work out, man. A lot of these fighters don't be working out that much these days. They don't be working out a lot these days, man, for the fans, like in, especially the media. Give like a good, good, solid workout. I hope they, they try to do some type of workout. That would be nice to see. Some type of workout for the fans would be great. Um, show off, man. Show some. Guess what? You do some fun stuff like different pad work, or you know, what I'm saying you skip or do something. Yeah, do something crazy. Put on some. They want to see you hit hit the pads. You know what I mean? Throw some combinations. Yeah, man. So. Uh, let me see. So there's a report that uh, Tyson Fury fight, which could make the second about a 70-30 split in favor, in his favor. My apology. All it was reported wants a rematch clause for the Tyson Fury fight, which would make the second bout a 70-30 per split in his favor if he wins. But Fury wants it at 50-50. First fight per split already agreed at 70-30 in Fury's favor. <laughs> Who 
was just like, all right, I gave you the 70 30. Like, okay, give me mine. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if that's true. We got to see if any of that is true. It might be that way, it might be twisted the other way. We don't know. So excited to see. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. So that's what's going on um, with this Usyk situation right now. Frank Warren is imploring Usyk. If you're watching this, uh, let's get it done, man. Frank Warren's like, we're not giving up. They're not giving up. He's agreed to the terms of the rematch. The split. This is Frank Warren is telling Tyson, man, enough. Let's get this fight made, man. Don't let this fight slip away. That's what's going on right now, live. Right now, they really, like, out here on social media. Or at least now on social media, out here trying to... I don't know what they doing, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Smash that like button, my people. If you're not staying, just hit the like button. Eagles Cleemix, Alex, please speak to your man. He is a Ukrainian warrior. We want to see him in the ring with Tyson on the 29th. Let's get it on. <laughs> They're trying to bulldog Usyk right now, man. They're trying to bulldog Usyk. To take that split. <laughs> he already agreed to the first split. They're like, nah, you're not about to get us like that. Nah, you're not about to get us like that. So that's how you would have it. That's how you'd have it. Boom. Smash that like button. Listen, what do y'all think about it, man? Today we're going to get an opportunity to see, you know what I mean, um... Both these fighters, the Benavides, um, get some stuff done, man. Get some work done inside the ring. I'm excited for it. You definitely just came through to, to just say who is to blame for this fight not happening. Everybody want to know who, you know, who's the reports coming from. A lot of conversations happening. Some people said Usyk should just move on. Let me know, man. Let me know what y'all think. Should Usyk just move on? Should he continue to go back and forth with all the stipulations that Tyson Fury has put forth? Frank Warren is working hard to try to get him 
to, to bend on some of them. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Who is to blame for this fight not happening? I need to know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that's what's uh that's what's on the menu right now. The saga continues. It is like the soap operas. It's unfolding right before our eyes. There's a lot of pandering. A lot of pandering. And it doesn't look good for Tyson Fury. At all. It don't look good at all. When I say at all... At all. Like, that fight is over. Usyk is done with it. They're not taking no more of your deals. They don't want it. They, they, it was like, oh, he doesn't want to fight. Now, he's trying to play. Like, they don't want to fight. They don't want to fight at all. Like, it don't look good at all. At all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. For Tyson Fury right now. It's crazy, man. But, hey, it is what it is right now. Frank Warren is trying to do his best. His team is trying to do their best to try to get Usyk to just cave in and his team to cave in to all the demands. Even the ones that are a little bit, a little bit out there. A lot of people would say. Boy, that doesn't even sound like it makes sense. This, what are you talking about? <laughs> Smash that like subscribe button, man. <laughs> Can you believe somebody said they don't believe? They don't believe that Fury, that Usyk, they don't believe that Usyk deserves 70% of the pot when he's facing Tyson Fury, even if he beats Tyson Fury. And in the rematch, he doesn't deserve 70%. Are they serious? What am I not understanding? That, that sounds so ludicrous to me. I can't believe somebody would actually say that. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's so far it's gotten. That's amazing.
simply amazing simply amazing simply amazing to know that the six foot nine gypsy king is live 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 ducking the pump to middleweight the gap tooth ugly rabbit amazing it's like simply amazing it's all i gotta say But, you know what I'm saying, that's all we got, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time, might have a guest on the show, or well, live 7 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be live tonight for a regular schedule programming, it's like to come in, you know what I'm saying, this is live happening right now, so I wanted to bring a live update of, you know, who's really to blame for this fight, man, jump in the super chat, super sticker, uh and support the channel does help with the growth and the visibility one thousand percent Who do you guys think is to blame? Who would you blame? Who would you blame for this fight not happening? A lot of people are casting their votes. Smash that like and subscribe button. Just writing a quick tweet. Just writing a quick tweet on Twitter. Check us out at the Way In Boxing on Twitter. Definitely as well, the Way In Boxing on Twitter. Life lessons, what's going on? What's going on? You're just trying to get to it. You're not wasting no time. That's all, man. Slow and steady. Build it up. Uh, who to blame for the situation? For his team? Who's his team? Or both team? Let me know, man. I'm curious. I'm curious. Got a notification, so I finally get a chance to connect on my break. Okay, that's what's up. About to definitely get up out of here in a few minutes, though. You got to get ready for that uh, 4 o'clock blaming Tyson. Okay. So, yeah, Tyson definitely looking bad in this situation right now. Um, 
but just all the stipulations, all the things that he's asking for, definitely don't look good for him. Don't look good for him at all. So, um, we definitely going to continue to watch this situation. I don't think this fight is happening at all. At all. I kind of knew this for a while, too, that it wasn't going to happen. So, But, man, that's all we got. I'm about to get up out of here. Um, Life Lesson said he not trying to fight Usyk and using all these terms and conditions to get his way out of it. Okay. He's definitely not trying to, man. He's he, He's not trying. It don't look like he's trying to. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He got to make me a believer. He's ducking. Yeah, he definitely is. He's looking like a duck right now. Walks like a duck. Talks like a duck. <laughs> Most likely it's a duck. Right now, Tyson Fury is, is, is running his business like a duck. They want him to forget the rematch. They only want to fight him one time. They want the unified champion... To not have a rematch. Wow. Work all his way up to all his way up to the top. Just to end up there, man. Smash that like and subscribe button. Crazy. But nonetheless, man, y'all be good. We'll catch y'all tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Stay lit. Stay live. 7 p.m. Eastern time. Let's do it. More, more things are going to come out from this story, I'm very sure. So we're going to probably come back later with some more fresh news about what's going on. A lot of chatter right now. A lot of chatter, but we are out of here. Looking forward to tonight's show. Yeah, definitely tap back in tonight. Tap back in tonight. Share, tell a friend to tell a friend, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Hit that like and subscribe button, man. Appreciate it. We out. Okay. And we're going to have some information on this Open workout as well. It's going on today at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So I got to check that out as well. We out. It's the way it call up in your way in. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge. We ain't playing when you think it's about to end. Should we crank it up again? Hold up.